That was a terrible clap. <laughs> That's better. <laughs> Hi everyone. So today I'm here with my friend Charlie. Hello. And uh, she's a designer, so I thought we would do a little designy video all about how to get started with design, how we got into design, mm -hmm. and maybe give some tips if any of you are interested in the topic and yeah, how you can get started, I guess. Yeah, do you want to introduce yourself yep. and your channel? So, like Hannah said, I'm Charlie, <laughs> and I make videos about design mostly. I'm making a lot more videos about design lately, actually. So, yeah, I like that yeah, a lot. Talking about <laughs> workflow, really nerdy things about computers and like file structure systems, and as well as more fun things like tutorials as well. Yeah, you should definitely go and check that out um, after you're done watching this video, because her videos are really amazing. Mm -hmm. And they're actually kind of what got me into the design really? world. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> so I didn't know that. Oh, well, yeah. That's so cute. <laughs> <laughs> so, that was when you got interested in design? You were already at yeah. university though, weren't you? Or no? Uh, no, I wasn't. Oh, wow. So, I was looking into, uh, I study film and motion design, mm -hmm. so I was looking into uh, directing programs and more film-based things, and I was already watching your videos, and mm -hmm. like I was interested, but I definitely got into typography because of your videos cool. and kind of dabbled in that world. And I'm I so know. honored. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it just got me really interested and then, yeah, I looked into it a bit more. And then the university that I kind of went to visit, um, they had a course called Film and Motion Design, which is what I'm doing now. Mm -hmm. And I thought, oh, that's actually a really cool, um, I guess, mix, like a mix between yeah. Yeah, the film and the design because you do motion graphics and that type of stuff and yeah I don't think I would have looked into it if I wasn't already interested in design. Please and tell me that you're enjoying it because I'm gonna yeah, feel really I love bad. It. No, 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 I love it. I'm so happy. Yeah, your That's videos good. are really helpful. Oh, phew. <laughs> There's so much to explore in the design world so I guess I would recommend for sure checking out YouTube videos about design and kind of see because you can definitely find your passion already by looking into different fields. Mm. There's so many different areas of design, right? Yeah. And you don't have to pick one straight away. No, you I'm, can just yeah do a lot of things and after a, a while you can just see yeah, you, what kind of suits you best and what you're good at. I've changed my mind a lot through my like <laughs> design career or like learning, you know, about what I wanted to focus on. I went into university thinking I wanted to do advertising and that's yeah that's how I started. Then I got more interested in graphic design, like you know, print based things. And then I decided that I wanted to do motion graphics instead. <laughs> I don't know where that leap came from, but it happened. Well that's a cool thing to do. <laughs> yeah. But then I don't know, after a year of uh, studying that as my major I decided it wasn't what I wanted to do full time, you know, I liked like dabbling in it but not focusing on it. And so then I switched back to graphics. And graduated with a visual communication design degree with a yeah graphics graphic design minor and then when I was in the industry for about a year and a half I decided to switch to web design <laughs> and that's what I'm doing now so even when you finish your studies you can still change your mind about what field you want to go into so design is such a broad field there's so many things and I think you pick up a, a lot of the things on the way that you didn't mm -hmm. know about and then kind of see where you go and you can always change your mind Try and pick up as much as you can and get a lot of experience on the way and... And they all feed yeah. in together, right? Yeah. Because even though I do web design now, a lot of the things I learned about typography and print design come into play as well, about making things readable and yeah. you know, having a good structure. And I really like that I did motion graphics too, because that actually comes in handy with web design. Yeah. Thinking about how things animate and interactions throughout the page. So yeah. you can take influences from all the different fields. Yeah, I really like my typography class as well. I think it's really handy, especially with motion graphics. Mm. You have to do a lot of type-based things and it's just nice to know which font to use and like what do you want to do with it, kind of what it says. So I think um, it's always important to dabble in other fields to understand them as well and I think it makes your work better. If yeah, you definitely makes you a stronger know. designer. Yeah, yeah, definitely. When did you first know that you wanted to do like a creative job? You know? Oh, see, that's a good question. Um, I think for a long time I wasn't sure if I was going to go into the creative uh, field or if I was going to do like science things because mm -hmm. I'm a big fan of like chemistry and stuff. Do you know, actually, fun fact, I used to want to be a weather girl. Oh. That was what I wanted to do. Oh, I wanted I to like totally be the one you. predicting the weather and then presenting oh, it on the so news. Oh, that's so cute. Yeah. I can totally see you do that. <laughs> It took me a long time to actually know that I want to do, I want to pursue like the creative mm. thing. I guess YouTube is what kind of pushed me That's cool. to do it. Yeah, because I started doing YouTube on the side and then 
I just thought that was such a cool thing to do mm. and people were doing it full time so I thought that's definitely a growing industry I think that's a good way to go uh, yeah and then I got to start, uh, kind of started looking into different degrees and what to do in the film mm. industry and, yeah. yeah I think I got into it well like my design path fairly late like these days you have like 15 and 16 year olds who are already like designing yeah. websites <laughs> nope and I <laughs> no, <laughs> that was not me but I'm glad that I eventually learned that being a designer was actually a job because it sounds weird but when I graduated high school in 2006 right so I'm a bit older than you yeah and <laughs> design as a job wasn't really talked about much yeah, when I, I was in was high a, school yeah you know? I don't think wasn't it was wasn't either okay it's just the industry became so big with like the whole new sudden, media growing yeah. and everything. Yeah, it wasn't a thing back then, I guess. Yeah, exactly. So when I did work out that this is actually something I could do, I was really excited and it just felt like something that was meant for me yeah. in a way, you know, which is cool. So I'm glad I worked that out in the end. <laughs> yeah. Um, is there any advice you would give your younger self, I guess, mm. and how to get started with the design? Is there anything you would do differently, maybe? I think I would just say not worry so much. Yeah, that's like, really good advice. <laughs> yeah. I worried that, you know, am I picking the right thing? Because also, as well as design, I really liked photography. And I was trying to decide between going for a photography career or a design career at first, as well as then all my different design decisions. <laughs> so I would just say don't worry about picking the right thing and that it'll evolve and come together and that whatever experience and whatever you learn, it'll all be useful in the future. So don't put pressure on yourself to narrow down straight away yeah you can definitely always change your mind and yeah the experience that you already have just mm. yeah it's gonna lead you in the right direction I guess yeah exactly what about you what would you tell your younger self um I think I would just tell my younger self to maybe gain more experience and look mm -hmm. into things more because I think it's really easy to close yourself off to a lot of things or just I mean, there's so much out there that you don't know about, so I guess just yeah. go out and see what you want to do. And even if you work out that you don't want to do it, that's such a good thing to know, because you can already tell, okay, well, I'm not going to go into that anymore. And you never have to wonder, right? You yeah. never have to be like, yeah, what if I'd done that? Go and try, try it out, and then if you like it, you can gain more experience and continue down that path. And if you don't, then look for something else yes yeah. <laughs> so yeah I think that's all that we have to say for today if you have any questions at all about getting started in design we actually just filmed a Q&A over on Charlie's channel so make sure you go and check that out and you can leave any kind of questions in the comments or tweet us and then we'll make sure to get back to you yeah. and answer those for you maybe I can also answer some in a future video if there's if you would be interested in that I would be interested in that <laughs> Yeah, so I really hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you did, like I said, check out Charlie's channel. She makes amazing, amazing videos. <laughs> your I think I'm your, your biggest fan. <laughs> and subscribe if you're not already. To yes, see. definitely subscribe to Hannah. If you came over from my channel, I hope you enjoyed this video. And make sure you subscribe for more from this lady. Oh, you're so sweet. <laughs> and yeah, we'll see you another time in another video. Bye. Bye. Yay. Yay. <laughs>